she legs. To get had less people but it take longer I'm sweating boy I'm sweating Shoot. anyways almost missed a show I ain't think it first event going to start field events oh yeah medal to win in dying so anyway let me see what today bring hopefully you like the yesterday one well you know I always only have my phone of course for live updates today are bringing me binoculars we had the handbook it kind of rough up in the boat Hey, go do some big job and the camera and of course the GoPro I have a hat but I will need a hat for the afternoon session well the only board catches the parking spot you see I like a full parking spot look the stadium right there you know I get a little place to park they say today we have to wear green so I wanted to wear my cats Leah green here red national colors yellow beak Grenada right there right there although that is a Costa Rican board yeah anyways let me see what they two have to offer Yesterday I had to wait real long in the gate, so I'm going out to make sure I come 20 minutes early. I don't want to miss anything. There we go. Yeah, well, you see the line not too long this morning. Yesterday, this had about 50 something people and it took me 20 minutes to pass through it. Today, it looked like 20 something people. So, hopefully, it only take me 5 minutes to pass through. Although the line was shut, we still had to wait a little bit. Yeah, but. I got in eventually. To be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is unacceptable. Day two morning session started off with a few field events and they were all finals. So we didn't want to miss any of the finals or even the preliminaries. You had to go there from the morning session. The crowd was thick. And the athletes was excited again this for instance was the semi-final at the 200 meter which ended up being a final participation for one of the athletes because he fall started we thought it was the official gun again since we had so much gun malfunction in day one but this time it was a real fall start at the 200 meter under 20 boys Let's see if they two starters they want. Yep, the field event competitions went on while the officials decided what to do with the fall start in the 200. The girls on the 20 shot put was going on same time with the girls on the 20 javelin. And the Bahamian athlete had a really big throw, you can see here. Um, she took the lead with that throw. She did throw better than that later on, but I did not get a video of it when she actually made the better throw. So there, she won the goal eventually. She was so excited. The 800 meter semi finals was on the track, and an up and coming Grenadian athlete put on a big show for the crowd. They were going crazy. The home crowd was definitely out in their numbers. Even for the morning session, the athletes responded with stellar performances. In 
fitting fashion of the Carif the Games, the athlete ran to the wire. They competed for a spot in the finals as if they were in the final themselves at the moment. And as the 800 went on in the under 20 boys, the gun did not disappoint. It started malfunctioning again. <laughs> But we were used to it at that point. The whole field got a green card though. Now we're going for the minions. Bringing the minion to the character. Probably motivate him to be a character athlete in the future, yeah? Grenada take a medal in the morning session. Look at the progress of the painting on day two. The people don't come with the paint yet. I might have to go and finish my athlete. Oh, let me show all of this. Let me show all of this. This is actually. This is what's supposed to happen. That's the first half of the painting. That's the second half of the painting. And it's supposed to come together on this wall. So maybe they might start painting in the brick today. Maybe this might be finished. Who knows? It goes on. Okay, so a synopsis of day two morning session. I have to run and get me son and come back. Um, my eldest, my eldest son is an athlete, so let's bring him. He's only eight, but maybe get some motivation here. Yeah? Wasn't too bad, just a few events. Grenada made it in a couple of the finals. Um, we got a medal in the javelin on the twenty girls. Other than that, nothing too special. The eight hundred meter hits was actually really fun. Um, yeah, that was it was actually fun. It was good to see. Um, let's see what the finals hold. I'll be back. I'll be back. Well, on the return parking was a bit more difficult, but I think I found the spot. This man we brought. You know where we going? Character. And you put the whole bottle of grease. Look at this smile on his face. The man put the whole bottle of grease on his face. <laughs> if you don't know yet, I'm the eldest son, Karim. What do you want to see in the character games? I want to see competition. Don't put children on this spot, you hear me? We go and watch some race, boy. We might win a medal today. Or two. Or even four. Who knows? Anyway, you have a little bit of drizzle. But the last time I take like half an hour to get in the gate. So I try to come out over. They say they're opening back the gate two o'clock. So we're trying to get there just about two to get back in the stadium. That's the plan. Slight drizzle, but eh, we gonna have to you gonna wear a hat. We're going to cope with it. It's not a long distance away. Just a little bit further than we are packed this morning. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to put a hat on my head before riding a horse. You see that hat you're going to recommend when you're riding a horse? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yes. And when you hit some bush, what happened to the hat? Strong so you might survive. <laughs> Let me go before this ring. Here we go, bummer ride. We go, bummer ride. Paint this yellow man there, you know? Who paint that yellow man there? Me. What? The yellow but not the brown. Somebody dot him a so thing already. So it's a man here, but that brown a little now. You ready to go in, sir? No. You don't have no line no. today, you see? No line whatsoever. Just me food. What is it? That would be your favorite thing? Why them step hard to walk? Watch me sweat. Woo! I come back with food. Watch me sweat. Uh -uh. 
Why? But anyway, we're back for the afternoon session. We're all in. You ready? Yes, Daddy. Of course, we were there early for the afternoon session, but the stadium was rammed with people, man. Everybody came out in their numbers, and the crowd was into it. The 400 meter hurdle started off well, but I didn't get a lot of video recording it. The crowd was jumping and waving, um, but it was a few good runs. The under 17 boys' record were broken by the Jamaican athlete. It was some good runs. The hurdling, they had to jump over 10 hurdle on a 400 meter track, so it's a great feat. There was not a lot of records broken on the second day, so this first record was well taken. It's the high hurdles, so sometimes athletes fall. The St. Kitts and Nevis athlete was the unlucky one today. But he copped on, he copped on, good spirit of sportsmanship and determination. The Jamaicans dominated the high hurdles, bringing the medal tally up. You may know that Grenada is a javelin and 400 meter factory for athletes. And the multi event athlete dominated the javelin event. It was beautiful to see. Look at his technique. That led into the under 20 men javelin finals. This is two time character medalist. He's from my village, Raven, as he took the lead in the under 20 voice javelin with a lovely throw. Let's look at the form and the technique. He used to be 80, now he might be 66. Yeah, I call that distance pretty good, yeah? But we'll just look at his farm. So much potential in this athlete. I can't wait to see what his future holds. He trains with the same coach as world champion Anderson Peters. The multi-event always ends with all the athletes together in one final race. And the 1500 meter usually have everyone out there. It's good to see after two days of pulling events they did is an octagon so they did four events on the first day and another four events on the second day completing it with the 1500 meters you can see there they're ready some of them look like they're tired but they're also excited for two good days of competition there's also a lot of camaraderie amongst the multi-event athletes <laughs> Final event, two days, eight event, octagon, 1500 meters, future deck athletes, everybody on the track preparing. Canadian athlete lost his lead to the Bahamian athlete in the javelin and he made one final effort but he couldn't wheel it over that line. It was a good performance, we were real happy with him, his best throw this year. Just look at him running with the flag and the crowd was going crazy. Now we have the relays. The Jamaicans started dominating the sprint relays. 
as you would have expected since they dominated the sprint events. Simultaneously, we had athletes competing still in the under-17 boys triple jump, and that event is what gave Grenada its first gold medal for the 2024 Carifter Games. Look at the athlete here, displaying his technique. He actually won the event on his first jump with a jump of 14.67, but he kept fairly consistent throughout the competition. Yeah man, we get the first goal. We get the first goal. The home crowd got the heart broken in the under 17 boys go by 100 meter. We were doing so good, but there was a fumble on the baton passing on the third leg. So it was unfortunate we did not finish the race. The starters gone wanted to be relevant again, so it started malfunctioning. <laughs> the crowd had enough. You can hear the disappointment. The Trinidad and Tobago team took the upset in the under 20 boys for by 100 meter race, edging out the Jamaicans. But anyone who was there would tell you, Grenadians was excited because they won a bronze medal. And that bronze medal felt like a gold medal to us. You can just listen to the crowd, listen to the excitement, see how they was going along with the race. The final event of day two was the 4 x 400 meter mixed relay. That's where you have two guys and two girls running, and each country competing against each other. Uh, we, got, we got the silver in that race. It was an exciting race as well. We took our medal total to nine medals, taking six on the day, including our first gold medal, a couple of silvers, and a few brads. But day two was a good day. Day two was a good day. Karen enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, the crowd seemingly enjoyed it. Let's see what day three holds.
anyways, the man say he want to run, so we will see how the thing goes.